there's a man who said to Bob Woodward in private, it's five times more deadly than the flu, to the American public less than three weeks later said, it's just like the flu. What Donald Trump has just done by virtue of these tapes that Bob Woodward released is he has upped his own criminal ante to second degree murder. And here's why. He was lying to the American people about the danger this virus posed. Think about this, Dean. He was saying to Bob Woodward in very dramatic tones, you know, this thing is airborne. All you need to do is breathe near somebody who's infected, and, you know, you're going to get it. He didn't tell the American people that, but what did he do? He refused to order the production of the personal protective equipment, the masks, the PPE, that not only our health care workers desperately needed because of shortages, but we all now know we all needed it, and he lied to us about that. At the same time, he was arranging for his State Department to deliver PPE to China, depriving the American people of it. This man has upped the criminal ante to second-degree murder. And there are, are only two elements for second-degree murder. The first is that you cause the death of another. The second element is the intent element. And here's where it would otherwise get tricky if we didn't have Donald Trump's incriminating admissions. The second element is it can be satisfied in one of three ways. Either you intended to kill somebody we're not going to say Donald Trump intended to kill people. I would argue you might be able to make a straight face showing. Or if he didn't intend to kill, he intended to inflict serious bodily injury. Let's give him that one. He didn't intend to do that. The third is what's called conscious disregard. Mm -hmm. And that's just defined as your conduct was in conscious disregard of the extreme risk you were creating to other human beings that they would suffer death or serious bodily injury. Trump has admitted, in my opinion, as a career prosecutor, and frankly, I was the most experienced homicide prosecutor in the Department of Justice because of our unique jurisdictional mandate in D.C., that is second-degree murder, and Donald Trump must be held accountable.